A very warm welcome to all our viewers. You're watching yet another Times Network special. In today's episode, we have a very special guest. A person, of course, who's made his name in Karnataka as a writer, a director, an actor, and now is trying to forge his way into politics as well. We have none other than real star Upendra. Thank you so much for joining us on this show, sir. I, sh I should start off by asking, uh, do you really want to talk about uh, with politics? What do you think we should start <laughs> it off? It is up to you, actually. Wherever, actually. So let's start with uh, movies yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know how they have done for you in, in your career. You, of course, you've been a very celebrated actor. You've had your share of controversies in the past, but uh, you know you've seen a very uh, you know a big share of success as well. And the latest being your movie comes up. How has that uh, you know yeah, come it's along? Good, actually, it's doing good, and uh, Rar Chandru is very happy, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. but but for you, are you happy with uh, you know what you've done? Because you uh, you know you you set a lot of standards for yourself. So, are you happy? Yeah, that is different. When I direct, I think completely differently. But when I act, actually, I just you know go there and act. That's it. Actually. So you listen. You're a director's actor. Yeah, yeah, of course. I should be. Otherwise, I should not act. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's start off with um, you know the, the entire uh, South Indian cinema getting onto the world stage at this point in time. We saw. RRR being recognized at the Oscars. We've seen yeah. Kantara making it so big internationally. Yeah. Uh, what, do you think this is like a watershed moment for South Indian cinema? Yes, of course. Because now that's why even R. Chandru can do a pan-India movie. Yeah. He Earlier he did one small, small movies like yeah. seven, eight movies. Yeah. He thought of doing uh, Kabza in pan-Indian yeah. language. That is, I can, you know, heads up to all this, I can, you know. We, yeah. we are inspired with, I can, Raja Mowli Garu mm. and uh, Prashant Neel, Yash. Mm -hmm. And Kantara, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> so, what do you think is work there? Do you think it's uh, the acting, the direction, the concept? What, I mean, because you've understood all of this, being an act, uh, being, being a writer, being a director yourself. So, what do you think work there? Which which film? All all of these, which have seen great success, especially South Indian cinema. No, oh, see, about. even uh, Rajmouli film actually, all his films are successful. Yes. <laughs> Without failure, he has done 10, 15 movies. Yes. Everything is super hit actually, yes. because it is director, he's a writer. He is an extraordinary visionary, mm. no? Because because of that, and uh, Prashant luckily he has done one film called Ugram, yeah. that is also a big hit here, yeah. and uh, their combination of Yash Vambale films and uh, Prashant Neel with their story, yeah. you know, with keeping KGF as background, yeah. and it is visually spectacular, yeah. and it is action oriented, and yeah. and it is a mass film, and everybody liked it. Mm. You know, the photography is good, editing is good, yeah. music is good, Ravi Basru has done fantastic job yeah. and uh, with Kantara also it is a beautiful a regional, yeah. one beautiful story, content oriented, yeah. made it in a very well made film, so that's why it worked. So uh, now Kabza as well is doing pretty well in the theatres, getting a very warm response. So uh, here as well, what did you really look at in terms of, uh, of course you you said you're a director's actor, so most of the choices in terms of how the uh, picturization would be, would be made uh, by him. But uh, you know, uh, what do you think uh, has really got the people kicked about this movie comes up? Uh, again the making, okay. because uh, we did the whole film with sets mm -hmm. and controlled lighting okay. and uh, action film. Okay. You no, know, it is always actually action movie. Actually, mass people like, mm -hmm. and there is a small sentimental story, and it is story is completely different. Uh, because these are all the reasons. So, lo uh, was there any comparison that you made that you know? Because when you look at the trailer, a lot of them compared it with KGF. So, do you, did you go into making a cinema like this, thinking that well, KGF was a success? Uh, well, let's try something similar. No, was no, that no, wait idea? and watch. Actually, I am doing one film called UI, okay. You and I. Yeah. <laughs> that is a Nama also. Uh. I am doing that. Another uh, three, four months, it will be ready. And you see that, you know, completely we are making with visual also, with okay. sets and everything we are trying. When when you do a movie, it's always uh, something that's uh, out of the box and out of the ordinary. I don't know, I am trying is, is again. That, is that something that's going to be uh, uh, something that the people get to see? Some, the real Upendra maybe a few uh, decades ago? I think ago? so. I always try that. Okay. All, all my, I, so far I directed nine films. Okay. All my films I tried something different. And this film also I am trying, let us see, people should tell it. So does Upendra have plans of just Sandalwood or are you looking at, uh, you know, that Pan India Upendra, is that something I that don't know, this doing? film actually producers and everybody are insisting me and telling me actually we should go in a very bigger way. And we are planning because that subject is also very, you know, it is universal, that's why we are trying in other languages also. So let's uh, get into a little more serious topics, uh, Mr. Rupi, uh, because uh, you know you are, you are now looking at active politics as well. Not, I, I, I don't know if I can define it as active, but we'll get to that as well. <laughs> Not politic, uh, politics, politics. Uh, right. So uh, you know, uh, talking about movies itself, you know, there's 
sometimes a lot spoken about whether movie should be dubbed right so are you for dubbing of movies should uh, you know movies that were made in made in uh, you know hindi should they be dubbed for kannada or should be, the hindi movie be presented here as hindi film why not think? it is up to people if i want to watch sarukh khan film in kannada hmm. yes if i get the opportunity i go and watch in kannada because there was a lot of controversy here in karnataka about dubbing itself Uh, earlier it was there nowadays actually even uh, shivraj kumar yes. puneet rajmar everybody were actually you know for uh, dubbing they were also they are also doing in other languages no that time it was different scenario now it is completely Strange. changed yeah yeah but i also come to this there's also an, a political aspect to this uh, you know there's a talk about hindi imposition mm -hmm. and you know uh, a lot of south indian states politicians actors all of them have come to uh, come uh, and said that you know well hindi is being imposed on south indian states we are not natively hindi speaking people why should you know name boards in the metro stations or uh, you know in banks ma many of them why should be forced uh, to only follow one particular language what do you make no, of it of course actually one should not force one should not impose actually any language on anybody that is not democratic but it is one of, one way of ideology actually like actually one nation one uh, language yeah. yeah it is good actually you know if i have one language in how do you really define that when you say one nation one language and how, how how do you have uh, other language how how does canada tamil no 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 that doesn't mean that actually you should not have actually you know local languages we have to give importance to local languages and okay you besides actually you keep actually how we in education system also first language second language third language is there no so are you okay with uh, you know after uh, you know hindi being the language and then you know following your mother no, tongue is that something no no you should give the choice it is up to people actually let them choose actually whatever they want if for i am starting my career in bob bollywood i will certainly learn hindi languages if i want to go to tamil nadu i will learn the tamil language if somebody wants to come here and do anything any business or any they will learn kannada okay isn't it no but uh, i i am just getting trying to get a little bit of clarity you are saying one language one nation is good right and but you are also saying that you cannot impose so how does this fine line go no work? clarity is always in between mm -hmm. we completely misunderstand clarity is either it is left or right mm -hmm. that is not the truth mm -hmm. clarity is in between clarity is people okay. it is not up to leader okay as a leader i can put my ideology on you no this is right no you should decide no what is right or wrong absolutely yeah so you know you you have your strong opinions about uh, you know these uh, kind of political uh, issues that have come up in the country uh what do you uh, make of uh, you know when when you look at your political career uh, how do you really space it out in karnataka at the moment this is what i am telling you know one should not follow leaders hmm. you listen to everybody and you should take your own judgment okay. that is why i made party actually as people as i command like i am as a uh, founder president i am working as a president okay. i am not contesting election and i am not taking any decision even selection of the people even candidate also we are telling actually you know candidates aspirants to go to people yeah. and take their signature spread this ideology yeah. so you you your party is called uttama prajakiya party where you are saying that you know we don't have offices we don't have karyakartas no cash your no no, no funds quality, no cash no fund, we are not collecting so, funds uh, what, how do you really make such a party work no this is the truth it should work actually only ideology should work okay. it should spread from people to people okay if there is some truth yeah. what is what is the uh, real form of democracy what is the essence of democracy is people okay okay people should learn how to understand ideology how to stick on to ideology what is best for them mm -hmm. they should unite they should spread they should okay. involve in the demo there has to be a, there has to be a leader isn't it you can't say just people because at the end of the day politics is about leadership in the in a democracy like india we do have a chief minister we do have a prime minister yeah. we have ministers yeah. they so are not leaders. leaders they are they are representatives representatives yeah but they are, they are also you know considered leaders because a lot of people vote for them saying that you you will take decisions no, no, for no, us no 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 the constitution is leader yeah. there is also that vichara mm. what the content the ideology there is But set up this they thing. are taking the decisions who Even the politicians are taking the decisions so and they based are leading on, the people no, based on constitution directly. based on constitution no yeah. i cannot take if i become prime minister or chief minister i cannot take something some different decisions other than in constitution isn't it yeah yeah like that we are also started one party not the same regular this thing of collecting cash using that i say for publicity Mm. and again scolding other parties again it will become one more party like how the other parties are working okay okay instead of 
that I thought actually why not now it is a social media people are you know 99 percent of people are in social media there is a mobile we can spread this ideology without cash without any all these things but how without sure are you of uh, you know success for something like this uh, considering you know it, it probably is not very easy for people to understand how the dynamics of something like this works and more importantly you know in Karnataka it's not been a state that has accepted actors as big politicians unlike Tamil Nadu. No, 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 I am telling don't accept any artist or anybody. Hmm. We are against to people like, you know, person oriented politics. Okay. See, all these days there were party oriented politics. Now people are believing in persons. Now I am telling actually leave this also. Hmm. Don't believe anybody. Don't believe me. Hmm. You just go through my ideology. So what go is your ideology? Point. Because See, a lot is being spoken about whether you have the right ideology or the left ideology. I am in the center. Okay. See, center is people. Okay. So I'm talking about people, actually, you know, people, what people want, actually, they don't want cash, they don't want religion, they don't want unnecessary blame games. Yeah. We want transparency, we want our tax money should come back, mm. okay, that accountability we need, okay. one should take responsibility, okay, okay if he is, if, if, if he is an uh, inefficient worker, people okay. should have the right to recall, actually, that this thing. Mm -hmm. So we are telling that actually no, the rights should be with people in democracy, not with any person. Or you just said you also believe in constitution. Now you say you elect somebody and then if he's not doing something right, the people should have the right to recall him. But this is not how, uh, you know, uh, no, you know the electoral should, system no, this works. Is, this is what the amendment should happen in constitution. Okay. okay. So you're not okay with the current the way the constitution is? No, no, not is. okay because that constitution itself says actually, no, depending upon according to time, actually you should keep amending. So that you, amendment is evolve. there, no? Yeah. See, there were, that, that time there were no technology. People used to go to yeah. villages and actually spread their ideology. Yeah. Now there is a technology. Now I can speak to you, even Bombay, Delhi, anybody can listen to this. If they like this ideology, they should tell others. One should take that responsibility. We always tell that people don't know anything, people don't know anything. I don't know what is nation. Nation means people. Right. If there is no people, what is nation? Buildings, mountains, forest? No, no. The people... People should get educated, people should involve in governance. So you, you just said it's not about personality, it's not about people, your political party. So are you going to be contesting this? No, no, election? no. That is what our ideology is. Okay. If at all I am working as a president of this party, I should not contest. Okay. Because again, actually, people should vote for Upendra, mm -hmm. film artist. Mm -hmm. Or he's a party leader, he's telling something. Mm -hmm. Then people believe me and leave everything and they, they don't take any responsibility. Mm -hmm. We are telling you should take responsibility, not so only... So who do they vote for? No, I am... I am you know, people are contesting from my party. Okay. There are 130 people are contesting in this election. Yeah. I am telling, don't see people actually. Like, he may be auto driver, he may be some worker, he may be some engineer, he may be some doctor. Don't. Hmm. You just stick on to this ideology. Anybody comes, whether A, B, C, X... So what do people want? Work. That person should implement... Yeah, we that have some say. SOPs, standard okay. operating procedure. He should work according to this. Please go through this Prajakya yes. app. Yes. One should go, one should work according to that. There should be a frequent six months or one year polling should be there mm. with the people, whether he is working properly or not. Okay. If people say you are not good, he has he will get one chance to correct himself. Okay. Otherwise, he should get down. There is no that there is no law for that. Okay. Again, people and I should fight for that. That protest should happen in this country. If you are not working, get down. Mm. We want right to recall. Okay. So, uh, if, if there is a situation where, you know, uh, you do uh, win uh, seats uh, in Karnataka and then if there is a situation where uh, another party has a large chunk uh, and could form the government with your help, which party uh, are see, you inclined towards see, supporting? See, it is not my decision. Again, okay. again, I am telling actually we should go back to people. Ask them. Ask them what you want. We need this, free education. We want hospitalization. Something actually, whatever they ask. We will put the demand in front of the other party. See, if you fulfill this within one year, hmm. with this much of specification, with this quality, this, no, then we will support. Okay. It should be there. It should be like this or what? Also, Mr. Rupendra, I'd like to ask you. I believe that when you were younger days, uh, you were uh, sl uh, you know uh, associated with the ABBP. Uh, so naturally, wasn't BJP uh, a choice for you? Is that something that you moved out of? What what really happened there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually, you know, I was involved in all this, you know, students' uh, activities, you know, all the ABVP and. Uh, because I mean, usually the natural transition is from ABVP people move into yeah, the BJP. Yeah, yeah. So no, I, no, I, I didn't do that actually. No, I, because I, I, I was always analyzing about this. What is right politics? What is this? What's happening? I discussed with many, you know, my friends are there in very big positions in different parties. I discussed with them. I asked them actually, why don't we do this? 
Why can't we do this? Why can't we bring transparency? Because there is technology. Okay. See, according to me, even budget session, you should keep one big actually television and actually show it actually, you know, like PPT presentation. Mm. Last year budget, we have done this. This is this much budget. This is the contractor's phone number. This is this. This is the micro level. You can do that. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. Next year budget. My plan is this. Okay. There should be debate about that plan. Right. See, that should be the real democracy, you know. Not actually, you know, once I elect you, if you elect me, I can take any decision. Mm. No, that is not... Once you elect and forget for five years. Yeah, you are creating kings actually every five years. Okay. In that way, that Raja Prabhupada was much better. Okay. So, we, we've spoken about, you know, what you think of, uh, you know, politics and how you want to run your party. Uh, not your party, people's party, people's once again. Party. Yes. Yeah. It so is politics, publics, not politics. Yes. Right. So, uh, you know, I want to ask you about some issues uh, in the country um, now. Uh, you know, Hindutva, uh, Hinduism, this is something that's widely being spoken about. There, is, there has been a lot of uh, controversy as well. So, what do you make of, uh, do you think there's a difference between Hindutva and uh, Hinduism firstly? No, no. See, first of all, this is up to people. I am giving one more uh, no, this is, I'm asking as well. Listen, listen, listen. That is there. No, no. There are, there are three more parties. One actually party is believing in cash. One people believing in re religion. One people believing in something else. Okay. Because there are different, different ideologies. I am telling this is new ideology for you. You are tax money. You should be decision maker. You should get involved in governance. No, this is about your political see, party. See, this is just we are talking about this. We are not talking about any other things. Okay, because that is not important for me. That is actually, you know, my personal, my cash, my religion or anything is my personal. Okay. I should not bring that and actually that should not be my ideology to get the votes. Right. Isn't it? Right. I am telling actually you have this much of tax money, okay. you have this much of wealth. So you are saying Hinduism or Hindutva should not be, uh, you know, it's not relevant to politics at all. No, no, it is, I am, it is up to people. Again, if okay. it is relevant, let them choose. So, uh, also, uh, you know, when it, when you're saying there is a lot of questions, other parties are also raising about governance, right? And you're raising it in one way that you feel is right. There are other parties who are raising it in other ways. We recently saw Mr. Rahul Gandhi do a Bharat Jodo Yatra. Do you believe in the concept that, you know, Bharat Jodo Yatra, which means like he's trying to unite the country. Many people said, well, what is there to unite? The country is already united. No, I don't understand. See, even people ask me, I can, you know, because know that all this agitation and this very important democratic form of governance, I can, one should go and sit in the ground, actually go to people, mm. collect them and protest. See, then I ask actually, you know, people say actually Gandhi also did all this protest and all, then we got freedom. Mm. I said at that time, you just think actually there were election. British were kept election and say actually if you want to, me to rule or actually get out of this country. Mm. You think that Gandhi would have protested mm. or did all those agitations? It is easy way actually, you just vote and actually kick them out. If you have any problem, five years elections are there, okay, you have right, you vote properly. So, but this not actually but, but taking to, money. To what in the way you are saying, there needs to be, you know, uh, education reaching the uh, most rural places because people may not be aware. So, when politicians uh, protest or, you know, they are trying to highlight that this is the problem, reach out to a large number of people in the rural areas. Yeah, people may is, not be able to understand. That is leadership ideology, that is political parties ideas. Mm. You go and just ask people like, you know, give them chance to talk. Okay. Then they tell what is the real problem. See, as a leader, I can tell actually I will construct a bridge here. I will do this, that and actually I will make you, no, impress. Yeah. But that is not the thing. We, because we are giving people, you know, there is a place for people's voice. That is why we are telling this is the truth. This is real people's party. Okay. Here people are going to select whoever I can in a candidate, they elect, mm -hmm. they reject, correct and promote. Everything should be in the hands of people. Okay. How? By using technology. Okay. okay, one more one more quick question that I'd like to ask you before we sum up. You know, there are some actors in the country who have spoken about intolerance, uh, you know, in the country growing. Some of them have even said, should we leave the country? Is it time? Uh, because, you know, we, it's not a conducive atmosphere in the country. Do you feel that there's a, a atmosphere? It is up to him, actually, whoever said, actually, you know, it's not his opinion, it's not my opinion. No, what do you think of it? Do you know some people saying? No, why I have you know, so many other things to think? Why should I think about some person? It is his opinion. Okay. I am talking about people. I am talking about my road. I am talking about my children's future. I am talking about education. What reform should happen? What is happening? Why this competitive education, first of all? Where we are leading to. 
So, uh, so final quick question, Mr. Upendra. You've, you're saying already that you know your party will go in with about 130 uh, seats that you will be contesting. So, uh, you must have uh, heard from the people about what they've decided and all that. Uh, lastly, uh, what's what's the plan of action in in terms of going into these polls? Uh, is there a roadmap as such? No, no. They, we are just keep spreading this. Actually, you are very important. Each and every voter is very important. Everybody says you don't know anything. I am telling you know everything. Okay. I don't know anything. First of all, don't increase this leadership of this thing. Actually, don't create leaders. Okay. That is not good. This this political parties are becoming like uh, uh, factories creating leaders. It should not happen. Actually, now the, these people will go again. Some other people will come. They become leaders again. They do the same thing. See, Einstein said one thing: repeating the same thing again and again. Don't expect better result or some other result. Different result. Isn't it? Right. First of all, changing political party is not the right thing now, according to me. Changing the system itself is very important. How? Using technology, bring transparency, okay. Okay, bring all these things, make people involved in a micro level. Yeah. You can do all these things. Well, Mr. Upendra, I think uh, as I expected it to be, it was quite an intriguing conversation with you, quite interesting what you've said. And uh, let's, I mean, what you, I don't disagree with most of the things that you said. Uh, Thank you. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it is a difficult reform that you've, of course, referred to. And let's see, uh, you yeah, know, in the years to come. Reforms are very difficult yeah. only. Uh, uh, I can also start on political party saying that actually I'll become chief minister and I'll change all these things. Yeah. People also, okay, they, they need somebody else, actually, oh, all these three parties we have seen, yeah. oh, one new guy came and he is telling something, no, yeah. I am not telling that, I am telling, don't believe me, don't believe my people also, whoever contest in this yeah, election, believe in, what you want. believe in this ideology, if you take responsibility, then only vote for this party, otherwise don't. Thank you so much, Mr. Rupendra, yeah. for speaking to us. Well, that was a very interesting conversation. Of course, he's uh, had his share of ideas that uh, he's now uh, putting forth, not as himself, but he's saying that people should come forth and, you know, think of what they want and try to implement it as themselves. And, of course, uh, quite uh, a number of ideas that he uh, did come up with. That's all we have in this episode. Until next time, thank you for watching.